how I met Veronica and Tony. So I believe I met her around 2016. She was a guest speaker at an Arab event. And I remember being just mesmerized by her. And I think what stood out to me the most was how she was so passionate, uh, such a strong uh, leader, doing amazing things. And I just honestly loved her. When she talked about she was starting a coaching program, I thought, I wanna be involved in that coaching program that she's doing, because I feel like she's someone that I wanna learn from and grow with. So um, that's my experience with her. Yeah, for me, it was around 2017. Prior to this event, I, had to, I got to spend a about an hour, hour and a half with her, just going to go over some details and get to know each other, you know, and we had lunch together. And without a doubt, I mean, Veronica is just an inspiration to not only women in the industry, I think everyone as a whole, you know, she's just a giving person. She leads with, with, with a big heart. And most importantly, man, she's willing to give back to our real estate community always, man. And to me, that that draw me into it. I love the 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 part of, you know, how much my wife was so intrigued by her. And to me, that meant a lot, you know, that's why without a doubt, I feel like she was the right fit for us, you know. We're here at the Cabo 22 event, and this is our second Cabo event. So excited to be here second time around. The first time around, I remember being so inspired, not knowing what to expect. Came in here with a blank slate, and what they did was they showed us those top producers in our company, but where they came from, how they started, what they did different to lead, inspire, and impact other people, and uh, and so I immediately was moved to not only book the next trip, but make sure that my agents and that my family was attending those next events because I knew how powerful and impactful that would be. So this is our second one. We brought some guests with us at this event and it has been amazing, inspiring, and it just kind of gets you re-energized. So I love being here at the Cabo 22 event. Yeah, uh, last year was an eye-opener for both of us. So I think that uh, when you look at Listen, you look and you listen to some of these speakers and, and hear where they're coming from, their experiences working within um, the company and just learning learning through all their, their failures and, and how they were able to overcome and everything. It was just an inspiration to both of us and we were able to just un understand that it's important for us to, to surround ourselves with great leaders and learn from each other and be and get involved, which is most important. You've got to get involved. You want to grow your business, you got to surround yourself with the people that be, uh, are, have been there or are there at the moment. So that's important to her, to, to us, and that's why we're here. And we'll continue coming every year. January 2019, um, Gil, and, Gil and Carlos invited me for a cup of coffee. And um, they were basically, they basically, it was a 15 minute conversation. They got to the point and said, hey, we have this big vision, this big goal that we're working with. And we know that you and your wife would be a, an amazing fit to this. And um, they told they, they basically told me the game plan, and of course when they mentioned Veronica Figueroa, I said I'm all in. We're all in. <laughs> We're all in. I said she's my. And as long as they, and, and it's funny how I always see that you know the world and universe align everyone because that's exactly how they had it lined up. They felt that we were all well together and we all grew together. And, and if the alignment was correct and we're able to continue helping each other out, this can get bigger than what it is. And as of today, I mean, you can see everything has just worked out perfectly. I, I was so excited when he came home and told us we're going to EXP <laughs> and even better knowing that she was coming because from that time that I had met her, um, I knew that I wanted to be aligned with her, but at the moment it wasn't the right time for us. It did, just didn't seem the, the routes we were taking were very different. And when this opportunity came up, I said, this is it. For sure, I knew I wanted to be aligned with her. And uh, it's just been amazing to, to make that decision. I'm so excited with it. Veronica and her team have in impacted us and our team. Just being around them, spending more time with them, they're willing to extend their hands to us always. Even from the smallest little questions, some of her team members, we can all be in the same office together and they'll come up to my team members and say, hey, let me know if you need my help with anything. And to me, that's that's the culture that we all created. You know, and to just to see that, I knew and I knew this was a great fit for us and not only for us, but for our team members. You know, 
when you're able to see for yourself how important it is for you to collaborate with your partners and understand how important it is to be surrounded with, with individuals that are willing to pour their hearts into not only you, but to your partners and your team members. I mean, that's, that's where I want to be at. Not only has she shared her playbook with us, but also just watching her, how she leads her action, her team, her organization has kind of paved the way for uh, kind of modeling how we can do it or how we can do it better. Um, and we've kind of failed and, and learned from those failures together. So as I see her doing different things, it has inspired me also to continue growing in the same fashion. So I feel like just watching her alone has helped me so much. I tell her anytime that I'm in the same space with her, I feel like I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, and her transparency, man, that's another thing. I mean, honestly, she's She's willing to open her book to all of us, but also she's very transparent in, in the sense of she's not afraid to say that she's failed. She's not afraid to say that, you know what, it's okay to fail and that. learn from it. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's like, hey, you know what, we don't grow, we don't fail. We need to fail to grow. That's important. Freedom and success to me, um, starting with success, I think is helping others. There's that quote that says that if you help enough people get to where they want to go, you'll get to where you want to go. And that just aligns with me 100% because I love helping people. So anytime that I could be doing something where I'm helping others to grow and I'm going to grow at the same time, that to me is like game over. We, we won, you know? So that to me is success. And then of course, freedom when you're doing what you love, there's freedom there because you'll never work a day, right? And so it is genuinely true that when you love what you're doing, you love the company that you work for, you love the compensation, you love everything about it, that's success and freedom. Freedom and success, uh, freedom and success to me, let's start off with success. Success is when you're able to leave a legacy behind for people to understand how important it was for you to get back. Because I think that the majority of the time, we're not going to be known by how much money we made. It's the impact that you did for your community. And that's success. Not money. Freedom. When we're able to all enjoy each other. And be able to just... Most important freedom is, is when you're able to step out of your boundaries and not worry about uh, anything in your mind. Just do what you want. Enjoy every moment with your family. Travel wherever you want. That's freedom. And you don't have to worry about anything. To me, that's my freedom. My freedom is to enjoy my time with my family. That's it. How I want to make an impact on other people's lives is by seeing more in them than they see in themselves. And being able to help them sharpen those skills so that they can be better, so that they can increase the business and grow. Um, that to me is, is, is probably the most important part that I want to do to impact other people. I would say teaching them some of our failures and learning from them. Because so I thought a lot of times is that uh, we can really speak about it, but they have to experience and understand what we all have gone through. That way they won't have to go through it. You know, a lot of times it's like, everyone sees the, the greatness of all of us. Oh, you've done this and all that. But in order for us to get where we're at, we have to all go through these bumpy roads in our careers and in our lives, you know, you have to understand it just, it's not given to the majority of us. We have to go out there and fail and fail and fail again. And grow and, from that. And grow from it. And I think that that's the hardest part. I think people that sometimes, they, they understand failure happened, but they don't know how to bounce back from failures. And if we're able to show them and understand, for them to understand that it's okay. Coach them up. We have to coach them up. We're all responsible for coaching them and making sure that they're able to grow from every experiences that they have. Good or bad.